Because nobody's been talking. There we go. How's that? Better? Still some buzz, but we can hear you. Okay. Um, yeah, it cut out there briefly. Anyway, so that's that, and it'll be an interesting experiment to see how that how that goes as it begins to spread across the viewer landscape. Um, obviously, fiddling with the defaults might be a very interesting thing to do during the project viewer period. Uh, let's see, other stuff we've got on the list. Uh, we're hoping to get a, an update to the Rift viewer pretty soon, but as usual, that often gets preempted by other things. Um, And I think that's all I had to report on today. So that's actually do. Yeah, well, yeah, okay. it's, it's the mic. It's, it's me. It's, it's, a, it's a poor quality mic. Sorry. I'm, I'm coming in on my day off to do this meeting, and I didn't get my usual setup put together. So, other topics for the day? Um, well, our release went out. I uh, figure you probably know that, but uh, just thought I'd mention it since Jess isn't here to do it. Uh, yes, and Jess has bugged me for her, for stats, and I'm going to try hey, and pull hey, it uh, together for you. Can we get yeah, stats? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. I, I I will get staff. Uh, we just put out a new release too. Yay! Lots of fun. Yeah, we finally got monthly releases. It was it was kind of out yesterday ish. Yes, Cinder does much whip cracking to, to provide the proper motivation. Did there are Windows 10 problems? What? I, I, I don't know about any Windows 10 problems. It sits under a rock. Yeah, that's what Cinder did. T is the answer to all problems. Actually, dynamite is. It's a matter of how many sticks you need to use. Better. Dynamite tape that tends to make most problems go away. No, no, duct tape also works.
So yeah, other than uh, zombie eyes and Win 10 problems and antivirus problems, our, our release has gone relatively smoothly. Yeah. You, you have those wonderful antivirus problems. Oh, God. <laughs> it, 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 it'll be fine for one release. Uh, well, let me put it to you this way. Um, oh, yeah. And, and translations not being in the viewer, but uh, uh, Webroot needs to die with fire. Why do antiviruses hate you? Uh, no, it's Webroot in particular. Uh, Webroot, you cannot uh, whitelist a folder. So, so, so. so as soon as something gets, the cache gets called on, uh, Webroot's scanning it. That, that, that's, that's fun. Constantly. Yeah. Just normal everyday release stuff, but other than the Win 10 stuff and the zombie eyes thing. What, what zombie eyes thing? What? People with no copy eyes were having zombie eyes. It, it wasn't just eyes either, it was uh, shapes, but eyes was the first thing that got noticed. Every causes problems with everything. Skins. Yeah, well, it should just be... Shut up, Ed. So, are we going to send Oz home? Uh, we're going to make it not even worth Oz's trip in? to stay and make us stats. How's Ryder's HTTP project going? Uh, mostly at this point, he's catching up with adding the, fixing all the HTTP changes that people made behind his back while he was ripping out the HTTP and every, everything else. So he's Fine. catching up with all the merges and, and fixing fixing the old HTTP that they added when he wasn't looking. Say it like it's a bad thing that other people were working. Yeah, well, it's, it's just one of those things. Uh, you know, if we just stop adding new features, we could totally fix all the bugs at some point. That, 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 that's a good idea. Yes, add deprecated tags. That is a wonderful idea. We, we will get that caught up. Yes, it, it would be wonderful not to have two curl implementations. Well, well even more important than that, the, the two, two entirely different paradigms about how you do HTTP. So, um, yeah, yeah there, there were four. There were four. There were four. And now there will only be one. And a whole bunch of old code will be deleted. Old code deleted? Bonus. It, it changes so much. The diff is huge. And scary. Thank God I'm just support. So 
So we're we're uh, continuing to look at inventory issues, uh, and we may have updates in future meetings for code changes you should be looking out for. Uh, we're not quite ready to do that yet, but uh, we're we're going to be looking at adding uh, some server side enforcement of our expectations about how inventory is organized and preventing things that aren't supposed to be possible from happening uh, because we have some reason to believe that some of the things that are not supposed to be possible are have been responsible for some inventory loss when they when they happen and code that they wouldn't expect them to be there happen. Well things like having um, more than one trash folder. Uh, oh yeah, that's possible. Yeah, that's possible now. In the future, it won't be, uh, is what we expect. Uh, there are some other similar similar restrictions. Uh, we've also been seeing cases of people creating folders with no folder ID. We're not quite sure how that happens, but uh, it's a bad thing when it does. Uh, so In Open metaverse. Uh, I, 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 say. I hesitate to point fingers, and I, I, I don't intend to. That's not can, the point. I can point fingers there. I, um, I, I think part of that. Yeah, but the, but it, I mean, it might be interesting to track down what some of the sources of some of these these misbehave, what we think of as misbehaviors, things that our viewer wouldn't do, um, and has code to prevent. But the. Um, but the point is that if they're not supposed to be possible, if, it, if it's never supposed to happen, then the server should be enforcing that. So we're we're looking at whether how difficult it will be to add that kind of enforcement on some of the things we think are most problematic. Um, this in the process, we may end up uh, deprecating some of the old inventory operations. Um, our goal will be eventually to migrate to the point where all inventory operations are AIS and there are no others. Um, whether or not we'll get there quickly is still TBD. Probably not. But uh, but we're gonna we're gonna be moving in that direction. So see, I I I figured out that if I had more than like two hundred thousand folders, and then I couldn't log in because the login response got too big. Because the inventory skeleton gets sent in your login response. Right. Yes. That, that is a problem. Yeah. So the more folders you have, the slower login gets. Yeah. Not a good idea to have a lot of folders at one level. Oh, no. It doesn't even matter if it's at one level. Your entire login response, um, it, it does send the entire directory structure in the login response. It does? Yeah. Yeah. So I had a several, uh, it was like, I think it's like a hundred megabyte login response. Uh, we'll have to look at that. Because that's how the inventory skeleton gets set up. Uh, yes, there, um, in, in answer to your question, Worley, uh, at some point, uh, viewers that are not using AIS will be broken. Uh, that point probably won't be real soon, and we will use this forum to try to give you a, 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 a ample warning before we break things. So you're going to move inventory fetch to AIS? Uh, we're going to move... We're going to move all inventory operations to AIS eventually. Oh, yeah, library. Is the library system going to be moved to? Uh, it's, as far as we're concerned, that's just more inventory. It, it, it's fun because you actually have the library set up on separate inventory caps just for the library. Anyway, that's in the kind of in the in the nature of a long-term 
be looking for this set of changes in the future warning uh, because we are trying real hard to hunt down all the different ways that even using poorly uh, poorly checked viewer code that people can lose their inventory and uh, we don't want that to happen and there do appear to be some booby traps available so we're trying to hunt them all down and get rid of them and I, they, it's it, it may turn out not to be true that all of these are third-party viewer issues. It's very likely they're not. Um, yeah, I would like to add validation for more things that get uploaded. Uh, there's, of course, always the backwards compatibility problem. There'll be people complaining that, you know, once upon a time I could upload this and now I can't. Uh, <laughs> us? And we get that a lot. I usually tell them that once upon a time I used to be able to hike 50 kilometers in 10 hours. I can't do that no more. <laughs> oh, Firestorm allowed uploading meshes rigged attachments? Uh, right. <laughs> I mean, that, that's that's kind of a, that's an example of the kind of thing that might might not be allowed in the future. Uh, that should have never worked. Uh, yeah, I mean, some things, it literally breaks the render code. That? I think Project Importer allows it, but it looks like a bug. I'm not really sure. I, I was poking. Well, it, see, something like that ought not to be checked only in the viewer, right? It's, there's nothing wrong with also checking it in the viewer. But if it's, if it's not the model we expect to be true of the world, then it, uh, the, the, the upload, there should be validation on the server side because we have a lot of third-party viewers. I mean, I'm not saying anything you guys don't already know. So uh, we, we really can't count on the viewer to get it right. There, there, are, lots, there are too many of them. Um, and, uh, and and if nothing else, uh, you know, some things that can cause crashes might might deliberately be put into viewers, and uh, that might, that is that cause crashes in other people's viewers, and 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 that's not good. So we have to try and protect against that. And the best place to put that protection, if we can do it, is to put it on the server side. So there are lots of things that we may over time add uh, checking. Of the uh, of of things as they're uploaded on the server side, and we may reject uploaded things that are inappropriate. Uh, how quickly we'll be able to do that, you know, will probably vary depending on what the what the, uh, the upload type is and how much time we have in between doing dazzling new features. Uh, but you know, if we if we find something related to a dazzling new feature that we can add some checks too. We we might do that. Um, you guys are planning to move the uh, sound and a few other asset types of the CDN still. I would like to do that. Yes, but I want to do that. I don't want to fool with that until after we've done the HTTP rewrite, and then we'll change the way you get all of those things to HTTP. And then they'll all be on the CDI. So yeah, any any viewer, any asset that goes to the viewer, really, there's no reason not to not to make it uh, cacheable in the CDN. So sounds, animations, uh, all all that stuff. And by the way, I still believe it would be a really interesting project for somebody to write, to do a, a really thorough test of the viewer's caching systems uh, and possibly rewrite some of them because I'm not at all convinced that they work. 
I like the fact it stores most of the anything not a texture in a giant fi single file blob. Uh, well, I mean, there's implementation issues like that, but I'm just, I'm just referring to the fact that I, I sometimes, and, and I, obviously, I have not done the thorough, sort of thorough study I think is needed, but I sometimes see things getting downloaded again that I think ought to have been in my cache. So. Uh, well, I have to, I'd have to, uh, get a, I'm not convinced that putting it in its own process is or isn't, uh, an interesting thing to do. Moving I'm out sure. of a static VFS blob file into file system level caching instead. Well, I think at one time, that was done that way because at one time having lots and lots of files in Windows directories was, you know, was a huge problem. And uh, whether or not it is now is, is an interesting question. Uh, but I think using the big BFS thing probably is a source of some kinds of problems. What, what I see with the BFS is when the texture cache gets full, because it can fill up very quickly compared to the static VFS file. And then that results in contention between the texture cache and that static VFS file, which sometimes causes corruption within that VFS file. Yeah. Um, I, I, I find that pretty easy to believe. And so know, without... cache systems are separate. The contention, it, it turns into delete something from texture cache, delete something from the FS file, and it just bounces back and forth very slowly. Right. Uh, by the way, you were going to do something to give us something about not doing the That's little Cinder's avatar project. icon? Cinder's project. Uh, I seem to recall you saying you were going to do something about it, Drake. She, she started it. All right. Well, no, nobody's finished it. Um, but I, I freely admit that I'm behind on integrating open source contributions. I'm going to try and get caught up. Um, we have. Uh, I need to do uh, an experimental viewer for uh, FMod Studio, and uh, I've got the I've got the cinders. Uh, retina support and uh, I don't know half a dozen other things. Yeah, how's that going? We need to get updated uh, versions of KDU. To it. So H how's Seth going? CEF is coming along. Um, that uh, the developer working on that is on vacation for the next couple of weeks, so nothing's actually happening right now. Uh, but um, it's it's getting closer and closer. We've we, we had a demo of it at our little conference at the beginning of this month. Uh, and it was very cool. Uh, you know, HTML 5-ish things work really well on on prims and all that. Um, but that's the sort of project that has uh, sort of a zillion little things to be done at the end. Yeah. And we're just working through the zillion little things. So... Um, that will come out as a project viewer probably sometime in, I would guess, sometime in September, maybe early October. Um, but we'll get it out there and people can start playing with it. And by the way, when that happens, we're going to be, there There are going to be some things we think are not being used or not being used enough to be worth the very large effort that it would take to keep them working. And so getting people, so if you're doing, uh, we will almost certainly not have either Flash or QuickTime support. Um, actually, Flash may or may not work, depending on how you've got your system set up. Um, it is not something that it will be a goal to keep working. Either of those. So if you're doing fancy things uh, with media, Flash and QuickTime are not the way to be doing this. Oh, um, are you planning to support the proprietary codex? Uh, we're going to support whatever comes with CEF. 
Uh, okay, and only, so... and only what comes with it, yeah. Yeah, because you have to build stuff yourself if you want it to have uh, MP3 and right. MP4. No, we're not going to. We're not going to. We're not doing that. We're using the the, the uh, project from the stuff. The, the build from the stuff project. Yay! Open source codex. Yeah. Uh, ultimately, yes, Whirly, if they want them to keep working. Uh, well, Flash is also not working on lots of things besides Linux, so. So, uh, well, and it's, it's just not... It's, that's one of those things that just isn't worth the really considerable effort and, and really considerable additional complexity. Uh, and we think it's, uh, you know, they, they've, been, they've been a consistent source of either security or reliability or both problems for quite a long time. And it just doesn't seem worth a lot of work to keep encouraging people to use them. So we're not going to. So, um, but we, you know, we are we are getting lots of things working. So uh, you, you can do some pretty neat stuff. Other topics we should. Get into uh, how's the Vivox fixes? Uh, Vivox, I spoke to them just a couple of days ago, and they had one bug left that they, you know, they're in the infamous. We have just one bug left to fix. Stage. Uh, you mean the one where there's one bug left, and then another one bug left? Right. That one. So I have not seen a notice that they, I, I monitor their repository, and I have not seen a notice that they've checked anything in. So uh, yeah, it's been a few days since anything got built, and that was me upgrading it to 383. So I think they're still debugging. Uh, the, let's see, those, that, that one project where you guys were, um, the notice system changes and that stuff. Right. Any news on that? That's, that's, I mean, that's out in a project viewer. We're looking for more feedback on that. Um, we did just get some very, some very good stuff pointed out to us that needed to be revamped and we're doing that. Um, I have been having, there's, there is somebody at Vivox who's, who's looking at at least iOS. I'm, I'm not sure about Android. Uh, yeah, he can't hear you, Os. Oh. Yes, no ears. They have Android and iOS SDKs. Uh, they may. They also have, have a Windows SDK. They still don't have any plans to update the uh, Linux SDK at all? Right. That is my current understanding.
I I never did hear what the genesis of the eyes problem was, uh, actually. So I can't. Was was that something server side? Does anybody know? I wasn't yeah. around. Server side. Yeah, the, uh, I mean, we do sometimes change things other than the, than the simulators. What, what we normally put out notices about is the simulators, but the simulators is just one of a great many backend services, uh, and we don't always put out, we, in fact, we usually don't put out notices that we're changing other things, uh, that we're updating other things. because they're not supposed to have any bad effects. Yeah, I, I, I'll have to go back and find out what that was all about. I had yesterday and today off, so I, I'm a little behind. Yeah, I'm, I'm unfortunately hope uh, it isn't always possible for us to tell you that we're changing X, Y, or Z because lots of them are things that would be meaningless labels to anybody outside of, like, operations. <laughs> and uh, we, would get, we would get more problems with people problems reported by people who thought that changing X suddenly made my foobar break when in fact there's absolutely no connection whatsoever between those two things and they just had no way to know that because they didn't have any way to know what X was or what it depends or what their foobar depends on. So, uh, you know. We, we, we get that one, trust me. Um. I mean, I can just barely keep up with all of the stuff. I, I, I keep finding out about new back-end services I didn't know we had. Uh, and I've, I've been at this going on six years. So. Yeah, we can appreciate that. Honest. Trust me, we, uh, <laughs> we had everybody thinking that the zombie eyes thing was a firestorm issue because we just released, right? <laughs> right. Uh all I did was update my viewer, so it's got to be the viewer that was the problem. Yeah, and sometimes that's the right inference, but uh, yeah, sometimes. sometimes not. <laughs> uh, correlation and all that, right? Uh, but we'll... I don't know. We'll see. Um, will it ever be possible to sell experiences? Well, first of all, I will. I I decline to ever answer a question that about either ever or never. Um, so, <laughs> uh, um, would it be good to be able to sell experiences? Uh, yes. And um, would it be something we might at some point consider doing? Yeah, we've been discussed. Uh, it's not real simple, actually. So uh, we're not working on it. Um, it has been talked about as a possible good thing. Uh, but, you know, you get into complicated, you get into complicated situations there, right? So... 
if I sell, if I transfer, let's say transfer, right? If I transfer my experience from myself to uh, Hope, then um, who owns all the objects? that are associated with that experience, who owns all the scripts that have been compiled with that experience. And, you know, you sort of, you end up with this, this big tree of things that needs to get changed in order for the, the real responsibility to be changed. Uh, it's, it's not that it wasn't a goal, it's just that it's, it's really complicated. Uh, and experience sort of ties together a lot of different things. Uh, so, like I said, it's been talked about, but it's not, it's not clear that it's easy to do. Um, what you can do is you can you know, enable all the members of a group to use it to, to contribute to an experiment. So you can kind of get around the, the issue by, um, by using a group. Um, are you guys still planning on uh, eventually launching grid-wide experiences through non-Lindens? Uh, we're at the moment that decision is kind of on hold pending seeing how, um, the current generation of land associated experiences, uh, is adopted and how well it does and how the limitations work out for, for more than the first few users. I mean, we've got, uh, several hundred experiences that have been, uh, you know, uh, uh, that have been uh, activated at this point. Um, not all of them have scripts associated with them. Not all of them are doing anything yet, but there are a bunch of them. Uh, and uh, we're kind of waiting to see how it evolves. Uh, I have no idea what you can buy and what you can't buy or what it costs. That's not my department. All right, any uh, last minute things? We're, we seem to have run out of topics. Marketplace URL. Is it possible to not have the language setting depend on the URL? Uh, I'm not sure it, it should be possible to access I mean, it's certainly possible to access the URL without putting the language parameter on them. I don't understand what it is you want to be able to do. Uh, it looks like it's in two places in that URL.
Yeah. Um, that's not very good. As a former web person, it really didn't belong there at all. Uh, right. Shouldn't. Um, whether or not we can change that, I, I don't know enough about the implementation to say. Um, I'm sure there's a JIRA on it. And if we ever get around to looking at JIRAs for web stuff that are not something is horribly broken, I'll uh, certainly try to deal with that. But I, right now there's, there's a pretty big backlog of things that are in need of attention on, on the website. Okay, I think we can safely call it a meeting. Ready then. Thanks, Oz. And Ryder. Oz changed outfits. What? You didn't notice? No. For shame. For shame. <laughs> Mesh outfits? Oh, well, I've been changing outfits a lot lately because I've been doing testing of the, of the appearance. But today's outfit is in honor of the fact that I'm doing physical, mostly physical labor today. This was my little break from physical labor. Yay. I'm well, glad we can give you a break. Digging and building and all that around the house. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll catch you all later. See you, folks. Next meeting in three weeks. Forgot to mention that before. Why is it in three weeks and not two weeks? Because it's summer and there are vacations to work around. And I don't always want to come in on my vacations. But today I made an exception. I'll update the wiki page on Monday. Bye, everybody.